Hello viewers, this is Dr. Fatima welcoming you to the session on data structure. In this video, we will see about stack data structure where stack ADT, array implementation and linked list implementation of stack is discussed. Let us see what is stack. Stack is a linear data structure which stores data in such a way that the last element inserted is the first one to be removed. Hence, it is also called as LIFO list, that is, last in, first out. Putting in other words, the stack is a list in which insertion and deletion are allowed only at one end of the list called the top. Let us see an example. This is how the stack looks like with the element 10, 20, 30, 40 and 50 with a pointer top pointing to the topmost element in the stack. The real-world example for the stack are the stack of coins and stack of books arranged one over the other. When we insert a new coin, it is placed at the top of all the coins. And when a coin is to be removed, the topmost coin is the first one to be removed. Coming to the stack ADT, that is the mathematical model, the structure of the stack is a collection of elements with the LIFO property. The operation that can be performed in the stack are push operation, which insert an element at the top of the stack. The pop operation removes and returns the topmost element from the stack. The top operation will return the recently inserted element from the stack. The difference between the pop and the top is the pop will remove the element from the stack whereas top will not remove the element from the stack. The next operation is is empty. This operation tests for the emptiness of the stack. Let us see the implementation of the stack. The stack can be implemented in two ways. One is the array implementation and the other is the linked list implementation. Let us see in detail the array implementation of the stack. An array is a static data structure, so the collection of data must be of fixed in size and the array size must be specified initially. In array implementation, the structure of the stack is defined as struct stack, int stack max size, int top. Here, stack is an, declared as an array with max size and associated with it is the variable top which maintains the most recent index of the array. You can imagine the top as a pointer pointing to the top of the stack. The stack can be represented in an alternate way without the structure. But here, the top is just a variable and not associated to the stack. Hence, the programmer should take care to associate the top to the stack. So, the alternate way of representation can be used when we write simple program with only one stack. But when the program has more number of stack, then it is essential to associate the variable top to the stack which maintains the recent index of the array. So, defining the stack structure is preferred. Now let us see the stack operation is empty. This function checks whether the stack is empty or not. As stack is declared as an array, we can store the elements starting at the index 0. We can set the index as minus 1 to indicate that the stack is empty. So, if top is equal to minus 1, then stack is empty. The function returns true when the stack is empty, else it returns false. Stack empty condition is also called as an underflow condition. Next, let us see the stack operation is full. This function checks whether the stack is full. Stack full condition is reached when the stack reaches the max size. Hence, if top is equal to max size, then stack is full and the function returns true, else it returns false. The stack full condition is also called as overflow condition. 
Next, we will discuss the two important operations on the stack, the push and the pop operation. Push function is used to insert the element at the top of the stack. The push function invokes the isFull function to check whether the stack is full or not. Because the elements can be inserted only when the stack is not full. To insert the element, check that the stack is not full. As top is pointing to the topmost element in the stack, increment the top value, then place the new element at the top of the stack. To keep track of the size of the stack, a variable size is used and incremented by 1 once the element is inserted. When the stack is full, print the message stack full. Let us see the example how the elements 10, 20, 30, 40 and 50 are pushed in the stack. Observe the stack. Initially, as the stack is empty, the top value is minus 1. To insert the element 10, the top is incremented, so it gets the value 0. The element 10 is in the inserted at index 0. Similarly, to insert 20, again top is incremented by which it gets the value 1 and the element 20 is inserted at index 1. In the similar way, the element 30, 40 and 50 are inserted in the stack at index 2, 3, 4 respectively by incrementing top each time Observe how the insertion is done. Currently, top will be at index 4, pointing to the recently inserted element. Next, let us see the pop operation. Pop is used to delete an element from the top of the stack. Pop function invokes is empty function to check whether the stack is empty or not. Because deletion cannot be performed if the stack is empty. Recall the LiPo property of the stack that is last inserted element is the first one to be removed. Hence, to delete the, retrieve the element from the top of the stack, then decrement the top value and return the retrieved element. To keep track of the size of the stack, the variable size is used to decre and decremented by 1 once the element is deleted. If is empty is true, then the message stack empty is printed and the value minus 1 is returned. Let us see the example how the elements in the stack 50, 40, 30, 20 and 10 are popped out. Observe the stack. The top pointer is pointing to the recent element uh, which is at index 4. To delete the element at index 4 pointed by the stack pointer top, 50 is popped out or deleted from the stack and it is returned. Then top is decremented by 1. Hence, it gets the value 3, which is now the topmost stack. Similarly, the element 40, 30, 20 at index 3, 2, 1 are popped out and each time the top value is decremented by 1. Observe how the deletion is done. When all the elements are popped out from the stack, the stack is empty and the top value is minus 1. Note that here only logical deletion is done and therefore the stack remains as such. Next, let us see the linked list implementation of stack. Recall that the linked list is a dynamic data structure and so the collection of elements can be used which are variable in size and structure. The advantage of using linked list is we need not worry about the size of the stack. The stack is a collection of nodes 
as the nodes in the stack are dynamically created when required, there won't be a stack full condition. The structure of linked stack is defined as stack to stack with the data and the next field. We have a pointer top which is pointing to the top of the stack. So it is declared to be of type stack. Let us see the push operation. As we have seen, push function is used to insert the element at the top of the stack. To insert an element in the linked stack, create a new node and allocate memory. Set the data with the element to be inserted and make the next pointer to point to the top. Then set yan as the new top. To keep track of the size of the stack, the size variable is incremented by 1 when the insertion is done. Let us see the example how the elements 10, 20, 30, 40 are pushed in the stack. As it is linked list and initially there is no node, hence the top is set as null. To insert the element 10, create a new node yan and set its data as 10 and the next field as null. Let us assume this new node is created at the location 2048. Then make the next field of yan to point to top. As initially top is null, the next field is also set as null. Then make yan as the new top. To insert the element 20, the same procedure is followed. Create a new node yan, then set its data and the next field as null. As this new node is inserted at the top of the stack, make the next field of yan to point to the top. Observe. The net next field is replaced with the address of top that is 2048. Then make the new node yan as the new top. This is done by setting new top is equal to yan. Following the same procedure, the element 30 and 40 are inserted at the top of the stack. By creating a new node every time and setting the next and the top pointers. Observe what happens during the insertion. This is how the insertion is done. Next let us see the pop operation. As we have seen the pop function is used to delete an element from the top of the stack. Before performing the pop operation the stack is checked for empty because the pop operation cannot be performed if the stack is empty. If the stack is empty then return minus 1. Else proceed with the deletion. To delete an element from the stack, set temp pointer to point to the top and retrieve the data pointed by the top. Now make the top to point to the node next to the current top by setting top is equal to top dot next. To delete the node physically use free statement. That's why a pointer temp is made to point to top. Now use free of temp to delete the node physically and decrement the size variable when the deletion is done. And finally return the retrieved data. Let us see the example how the elements 40, 30, 20 and 10 in the stack are popped out. Observe the stack with the elements and the top pointing to the top of the stack. To delete 40, set temp pointer to point to the top and retrieve the data from the top and make the top point to the next element in the stack. To delete the node with the element 40 physically which is pointed by time, use free of temp. Following the same procedure, the element 30, 20 and 10 are popped up from the stack.
and all the elements are deleted, the top becomes null. This is how the pop operation is performed. I hope the video was informative. Let us see the application of the stack in my next video. Have a happy learning.